In this video, we'll go into the key takeaways of the Administrator's Guide for Requirement Yogi. This guide will list the questions that your users may have, and it will outline the decision process in answering them. We will discuss the re-index, tuning permissions to rename requirements or delete baselines, managing key suggestions, monitoring the queue, accessing usage data. Let's talk about the re-index. If you notice any discrepancy with requirements, a lack of synchronization between what you see and what is saved, or a wrong formatting, then this most probably happens because you are including a page in another using the excerpt macro or some complex plugin. To re index a space, go to Content Tools, then Requirement Yogi, and re index. We do not recommend to re index all the time because if something goes wrong on a page, you might not see it straight away. Also, if you are facing a bug about the indexation, please submit the bug to us rather than staying silent. Your users may need to rename requirements. This feature is available in the Requirement Yogi search. Select Requirements, click Action, and Rename. Some customers rename requirements all the time as part of their draft process. Some others consider that renaming a requirement means they are deleted. Renaming requirements is tied to the Space Administrator permissions, and this could be a limitation for those users. If you want to extend this feature, you can configure the permissions in the Requirement Yogi Administration in the Options tab. There, you can add groups of confluence to be allowed to rename requirements. Note that the permission for baseline deletion is just next to it. Some customers choose to restrict the keys that their users can create. If this is the case in your company, you will be involved in the Key Suggestions tab. This is the list of prefixes that the users can use. It is also available at the space level with options to override the global settings or not. Unless they are locked, those prefixes are automatically generated based on the last ID in the database. If you delete them, they will automatically be recreated by the software using the last sequence number. It is not a destructive operation to delete key suggestions. Another topic you may be involved with is the external properties. They are properties which users can assign on requirements. Click on the link in the top corner to see a video about this feature. We define external properties at the global level. If your users request that you create an external property, it will be useful if you check that no similar property already exists and create it. We can support thousands of external properties, but we thought it would be cleaner in an enterprise environment if a human checks the lexical consistency of those properties. Note that you cannot rename those properties once created, but you can delete them, and it will delete the values with them. When requirements are edited in Confluence or JIRA, we send messages through a queue to the other instance. It is useful to check the queue from time to time. If there are failed messages, for example, if a requirement was renamed but the JIRA issue doesn't exist anymore, you can try to replay the message, or just wait and it will be deleted when there are more than 20,000 messages. Users can access and replay their own personal queue, but they cannot change the configuration. Don't forget to check the queue on both sides, since the messages sent by Confluence aren't the same as those sent by JIRA. This queue is versioned, meaning we support older versions of Requirement Yogi on either side. System administrators can set a specific version number, but we recommend leaving this setting on Auto. When installing Requirement Yogi, system administrators must choose a user to authenticate the queue. Again, please configure this user in both Confluence and JIRA. System administrators are sometimes involved in checking the usage of apps. You will find interesting figures in the Usage Metrics tab, especially the monthly statistics. Our support team can also help you perform the perfect SQL query to retrieve statistics directly from the database. And that's it for the main points to administrate. You can always check out our documentation for more information. Take a look at our tutorials to learn how to use Requirement Yogi.